in five, four, three, two, one. What's good, everybody? Welcome to an episode of Fresh Talks. I'm your host, Fresh Philly. With co-host Sneakers App God. Nesta. Are you still really Sneaker App God? There's only one L, bro. Oh, yeah. First, first. I mean, you how many L's you, you took this this year so far? What's... I... I you guess what? I took so many L's. I'm being fucked. No, this year. None. That's, have I? No. Trophy room ones. Lows. Okay. That's about it. Same. Oh, so you and me zero yeah. and one. Well, zero one. No, I'm one and zero. You're zero and one. What's your the the big uh the the big bubble eighty six royal? Oh, so you're one and one. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You're zero and one. I'm one and one. I'm beating you. We'll see by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beating you. Anyways, what's good, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Uh, yeah, man. How was your day, bro? People are fucking stupid today. Mm. Motherfuckers can't drive. Motherfuckers got attitude. Good luck, everybody. God damn. <laughs> if you've seen that show, you know. Was it? I turn left now. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Bam. So, uh, what were we going to say? Uh, I bought a new hat today. For us. For us. For us. Look at us. <laughs> look, look, look at us. Who would have thought? <laughs> Not I. Not I. <laughs> Facts. Tell Yo, me. are you just like on a hat shopping spree right now? I don't know. Bro, this is what, your second one in like two weeks? That's the most I ever did. No, to be fair, no. Because Cause you bought that Brooklyn Dodgers one when it was my birthday. So that was a few weeks ago. Bought you the, bought the, 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 red, the, the Red Philly one. The Red Philly like last week. And you bought the Oakland A's this week. So yeah. This is Oakland? Yeah. Motherfucker so, has I, a side patch on the side that tells you it's Oakland. I thought it was Atlanta. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not Atlanta. No, motherfucker. There's the Oakland A's. Then what about the like the the, the Green Packer colorway with the A? What's that? That's Atlanta A's. But that's you Al- could tell because Atlanta A's has the apostrophe S on their hats. Atlanta doesn't. Atlanta is just the A. Oh, I just bought it because it had the A on it. Look at them. Sports. Bro, I tell y'all, I don't know shit about we, basketball. We know, I mean, we basketball. Know. Baseball, we bro. Know, bro. We know. It's okay. I don't know shit about baseball. It's okay. I just found out what the hell, uh, like, um, my boy, my coworker, uh-huh. he told me a couple of rules on baseball. I'm like, oh. I thought oh, you you're it. dead. Oh, you don't know shit. I don't know shit about. Right. I just know there's a home run, a hitter, a guy that throws it. Uh, he said a hitter. <laughs> a batter. Sorry, batter. Uh, a pitcher. <laughs> And then the umpire, which is in the back, right? Umpire, umpire. And then, of course, when you, the little, on the TV screen, you see the little box. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, you, you know enough to get you by, but you Bro, don't, you're I don't not. Sh- like, All right, like, fair enough. Like, I, I'm i only into hats because I like the, well, because you started it for me. And, and everybody else, like, it's you, Mark, Al, Pete, see, Lonzo. I was okay with the hats. But then meeting Pete, Mark, Al, Lonzo, all them, they got crazy fitted, and I, I can't be the only one with some whack ass fitted. So now I have to step up my game. Yeah, but all my shit's like on sale. You know, the only one I bought. yeah, but sh- see, like um, bro, the only we thing carry I didn't we buy that wasn't on sale was this. We carry some fitted that people typically won't wear because I guarantee you won't see your fitted that you got outside like that. Same thing with all the boys. You all know, the boys, all all of our fittings, you you won't see it on somebody else. Remember, Maybe, but remember that's one a, of the uh, it's one of the pink ones I showed. The cream pink, the yeah. Pink, uh, the cream sale and the pink, pink, yeah. The 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 store that had uh, one of the workers had that hat when I, where I bought this hat, right? Yeah. And I was like, huh, I like that. So I once I was like, let me look at the um sale wrap. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. That's the only thing I saw. There was another seven and a half of corduroy. Mm-hmm. Corduroy brim, uh, Phillies, but it it just was too tight because corduroy for some reason the cut is a little bit different. Yeah, so you need like basically a, a kind of size, size up, up, but uh, not really because I got two corduroys, the Philly ones on the on the dirt bikes, a Philly fanatic on the dirt. Well, it's either I most, mean not dirt bike, a uh, four wheeler. Either I'm wearing this on Sunday, or I'm wearing this on Sunday. I I'm, say wear the big blue. Creep. I, I, I ain't gonna this. lie, I fucking like that Brooklyn one. You ain't gonna wear it, bro. You listen, just give it to me, bro. Just give it to me. This, that's our size. I look beautiful in it, bro. Just give it to me. Yeah, you have a fucking just fat fake beard. Just give it to me. 
Hater. <laughs> I give you 30. I could have got it for 20. <laughs> <laughs> you got to not come up. No, I haven't even worn You're it not going to wear it. You can share. <laughs> You're not going to wear it. <laughs> So You're tell, not going to wear Tell it. everyone the joke inside, like our inside joke when it comes to me and hats. This motherfucker's not going to wear <laughs> it. There's no joke. I'm telling the truth. You got he what? Came, like He came on my neck heavy. What you got, like 10 fitters now? Um, At most? Maybe 10. 10 nine, or less. Nine, nine or 10. Nine or 10. Nine or 10. <laughs> He's not going to wear now one of them. The last one he wore was in Thanksgiving. Okay. December, January, February, March. And I'm going to wear April. one on It's almost Sunday. half a year already that you wore a hat, bro. <laughs> half a year. You did more buying hats than wearing a hat. <laughs> You're not wrong. You dirty bitch. <laughs> Just give me the hat to somebody that will appreciate it. But you know why also I do this? is to piss people off. It's like, it's. Cause like I know like now that I know like the hat community is very like anal, so when they uh, ask me about something, I'm like I don't know. You're like I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. Fair enough. I haven't come across any of those motherfuckers. I yet. haven't either. But I have come across people that are like, oh, I like your fitted. I ain't never seen that. John. I'm like, we know. But no, but like, there's people out there who who are really like like gung ho on this shit. Yeah. I'm like, bro, why are you gatekeeping for? Like, it's different if it's like a plug that you know that like, you don't want to lose your lose. Yeah, that's fair. I get that. Well, let's say you you have a company and you're buying, um, let's say like sweat like blanks for crazy numbers, and then I co- you tell me, I guess what, I might knock your shit over because I might buy all the shit that you want to buy. Facts. I get it. I do. I get it. But guess but... what? This will burn. Now I'm not gonna burn it actually, but like, bro, it's fucking a hat. I don't know why people get so hung up on it. I'm just nice, bro. It's nice. It's clean. I'm mad. I ain't see that walking into the store because bro, because you know, because you. Stop. Don't shop the way I do. You know why? Well, no, because well, yeah, you're. You should, I go for the clearance. And well, not for, even that. Your eyes wander. Me, fuck you. Me, like if <laughs> I go, yeah, you wander around. Because me, if I, I go to a spot, I'm looking for a specific thing. If they don't have it, I'm gone. Because you, you see me shop. You see, yeah. I, I, I shop like a, a stereotypical female. Yeah, That's you do. Me. I do. <laughs> I, I will admit that. But the funny thing is the fact that you notice that yeah. shows that you pay attention. I love you for that. <laughs> At least you pay attention. But yeah, because like it's it, it's from shopping and also like you see how the area we grew up in. Yeah, yeah. So right. that you have to be aware of your surroundings. Sometimes where certain areas, yeah, you, you you are relaxed, but overall you still have old habits. I don't care how much money I have, I will always run to the sale and clearance first, no matter what. Uh, the only reason why I don't, cause nothing's ever in my size. Yeah. I'm very lucky if I find anything in my when size. Because the hats or when hats, it comes to clothes, clothes, shoes, anything. Well, very, very rare. So I don't even go to the because the big section. size always go first when it comes big to size go first. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I don't technically don't. I mean go the too hats. Much. It's you're not wrong because I've noticed with clearance racks and hats, our sizes are gone. So that's why that day I tried out a seven and a half. I yeah. was like, all right, it's snug. You could get away with it, but. But I'm still going to stretch it out from time yeah. to time just to get a little extra moving room. Because you put me on three fours, right? And yeah, like, like I could put yeah, all my Yeah, you're fingers. comfortable. Yeah, but like, it's not tight on you. It's not I feel crazy. like I'm Jay-Z. Because it's like, it, I can lower it on my eyebrows. You're and... super low. <laughs> but you see how low we can yeah, get, yeah, though. That's yeah. how big it is. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I, will, I, will, I promise I will wear this Sunday. And then I probably which not one? Wear... I don't know yet. exactly, bro. I give you thirty for the Brooklyn Dodgers right no, now. No, you're not I gonna like wear it because it. it's corduroy. If it wasn't corduroy, I wouldn't be attached to it. But the fact that it's corduroy, you're not gonna wear it. It's some kinky shit. You know, it. I know. I have two corduroy <laughs> fucking fits. I have a red corduroy and a blue corduroy. From where? I mean, what team? Uh, Phillies. Mm. They're both Philly fanatics on the four wheeler. Oh, they had. Oh, I remember seeing yeah, the yeah. blue one. You yeah. bought that in front of me. I remember. No, I was it the red one. No, both of them I had to get them online. Nobody sells them. Or in did store. you wear it? I wore it. No, I've seen someone with a with a with a quarter not with the fanatic wheeler though. I have seen that one. Uh, unless it's one of the boys because we all have that same hat. No, no, in the store I remember seeing the the the. Oh, uh, there's a green one. So there's, that's the normal one. That's like the normal, yeah, like whatever. Like, that's like level. It was like, like a green, level one type of yeah. shit. Yeah, 
Us Yours is, is like two and three. Two and three, yeah. See, I, I, I don't know shit about hats. I just appreciate it, kind of. Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't even know the time. Fucking corduroy pop. This mother. <laughs> Bro, give me. Just, I'll give you 30 bucks. Ew. I'll talk to Ira. She'll, yeah. be, she'll be like, she'll probably she'll say the same thing. Are you going to wear it? <laughs> Are no. you going to wear it? Salat the Nesto. Easy. Easy peasy. Let me squeezy. You'll be fine. Anyways, um, I want to tell you what happened to me before we get into like sneaker talk and uh and uh, news talk with our shit. So you know, you know what the Enzo brand is, right? When it comes Ooh. to knee sleeves. Oh yeah. Um, I almost fucking lost my right leg, dog. So did you get them a size two? Uh, well, no, I gotta recommend this. But it's the new, the new knee sleeves, right? The new, they it's like the new material they they're testing out. Are they super padded? They are stiff, stiff. So hear me out. I had to get a two X because I had to do the circumference of my calves, right? Uh-huh. I don't got that much big of it. I have a above average size calf, right? <laughs> sixteen. So I bought sixteen. Uh huh. My sh- and you see how how light skinned I am. Yeah. My shit turned white and red. Ooh. And then it started turning. To me, I thought it was turning blue. I was like, nope, no blood taking- circulation. Yeah, it started tingling. That's kind of weird because I got it was too tight. The knee sleeves that I, well, it was a different brand. I mean, it could be the brand and the cuts. I had to go down a size because it's supposed to fit you snug. Mm. 2X. No, this was tight. No, nah, 2X was like a good fit. And Dre recommended. He was like, bro, go a size under because it's supposed to be snug. Yeah, but, but especially for the weight that we push. Yeah, but then but you have to remember certain sizes. Like like a, a, I'll sh- when when I when that comes in, uh-huh. I'm going to show you the quality of it. It's not like the ones that where you really have it tight and snug and you can breathe. Nah, bro. This, we talking about like. Yeah, nah, that's not good then. Because the one, Dre always told me, measure the top part. So this is your knee. Yeah. Measure the top part of your yeah. thigh. No, this, I had to measure my calves. It was, uh, that's it, a, that's it was, a weird one. Man. It was fine for my, my quads uh-huh. and my knees. It was just the calf area that was the problem. Maybe you have to go up a little bit higher. I know. It, it wouldn't go up any higher. Uh, um, so I, I, I exchanged it. They I called them. They're like, okay, this, this is the process. Right. Can't wait to come in. Your boy's about to squat 450. Yeah, I would say because the way that we push, you have to get something that's snug because I don't know how to wrap my knees. Like what actual, I never, never tried. I never tried. And I only started using fucking knee sleeves when I was up in the 400s. Because my fucking knees used to pop. Mm. So Dre was like, just throw some fucking sleeves on. Let's talk about that then. Talk talking about trying. You ever tried a fish fillet? Sandwich? Fuck no, I hate them. You don't like them? I don't like the smell of it. Mm. The reason why I ask because like it, it popped up on social media. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people were like, yay or nay. There's no one in the middle. Who was she ordered? Fish fillet? Yeah, you, no. You, don't, you wouldn't eat that? Fuck no. You don't like fried fish? I like fried... Oh, okay. Fried fish homemade in a restaurant. Like the whole head type of thing. Let's type, take, yeah. You eat that. I'll eat that. I pound it. But if it's like a fucking frozen patty, especially if coming from me. I f- okay. So like fast food chains like that that are not known for seafood uh-huh. or whatever or fish food, I wouldn't uh-huh. do it. So like, you know, because Lent, we just passed yeah. Lent. I had to eat only like fried, uh, fried seafood basically yeah. or like seafood or non-meat. Yeah. Non red meat or chicken. So I had no choice. So I was like, I was curious. I was curious. Nah, I'm super known. Oh, happy Easter, everybody. And I know Ramadan is about to be over after the 10th. Everyone will be. Facts. Get, I said, I will them. Just uh, to stop fasting and be normal schedule again. <laughs> when the sun goes down, you go down. <laughs> no, but it's crazy. I have a lot of my old co workers, right? Who yeah. are Muslim. And, you know, they work night shifts. Yeah. And it's fine because, like... Because, yeah, it's night. The sun goes down. No, because they don't have to work because once they don't have to eat, they can eat right before work. Yeah, I mean, of course. Before work is over, right? Yeah. Go to sleep. So and there's no chose, struggle there's no, for yeah. them. But, like, I have my coworkers in the morning shift. Dude, they, they hurt. Oh, they bro. hurt, bro. Bro, there's... Because no, uh, it all depends on how strict they are. I know, no, no. I we know, talking about they super Oh, uh, yeah, because I know some that just drink water all day. And maybe some type of like, I want their type of no, bread. No, they don't take nothing. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. So it all depends on no how strict water, they follow no it. Nothing. But um, I mean, it's almost over. But now, nah, but fish fillets, not nah, bro. Anything from McDonald's, Checkers. I love Checkers. Who else does fish? I love McDonald's. Uh, I can't have. I even pop Popeyes. They're like 
Um, their fish sandwich, they're good too. Popeyes had a fish sandwich. Yeah, I never noticed. I know they had like sh- like actual shrimps before. That's not that bad. Uh, I wouldn't do those. Who else does fast food that does fucking like fish type shit or seafood? I don't know if Burger King does anything I, fish. Oh, they did. Big Cod. Uh, nope. We'll never do it. Bro. I think it's called Big Cod. I don't know. We'll never do it. I had it. Not bad. Is that shit not? Bro, try it. Fuck no. You know who wouldn't want to touch that shit either? Who? <laughs> Breon. Good. I agree with him on that. I wouldn't Breon do it. doesn't. Oh, I just don't white, like the smell. He doesn't touch corn. He doesn't touch whitening fish. Breon, you're a bitch. Well, when it comes to corn? Yeah. Because, bro, when you go to the bath, it doesn't, it doesn't break down. That's okay, why. That's man. his method. That's why he doesn't he touch. He takes it. something else up there. So fuck his corn. <laughs> we need one episode where we don't slander this man, yo. He what? does it to himself, bro. Bro, you saw what he texted me, right? We leave him, up, bro. This is this is the thing. Yes, we all joke with one another. Then bring on the size to push that. And line <laughs> a little closer, bro. We push that line. He jumps over the fucking fence like okay. you, bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shut before I bomb you again. <laughs> but yeah, he okay. jumps that right when I go. Did you know how me and my brother yeah. are? We well, we know how to take a joke. If you can, then that's on you. Uh. But we let you start it. So when Brian does some shit and I reply, he's like, "Yo." He pushed it. I'm like, bro, you started it. I don't do He doesn't shit. know how to finish he it. He doesn't know how to finish it because uh, the other day he uh, texted me. He was like, I Spice had a better year than J. Cole, his first, like their first years. So I was like, Statistically, Pull up. yes. No. Money wise? Even no. by play wise? Play wise? No. Really? You're fucking stupid. I don't know because I feel like well, the way, the reason why I said that is because her music was always so like, I have heard it everywhere shit. compared to J. Here we Cole. Go. Here we go. Oh, go ahead. Weird. I'm a baddie. I get what I want. That's what he texted me. What? And then. Okay, <laughs> units. Okay. J. Cole. J. Cole's first week, he sold 218,000 copies. Yeah, but then how much he sold? 20,000. No. Yes. 500K, bro. Bitch, read. Same thing I told him. What's the key words in that fucking profile? Where? I don't see it. Read, motherfucker. Read what? Where is that? I can't click. You screenshot. Read where? Read, motherfucker. Total unit. Ice Spice has now sold over yeah. seven just yeah. now. No, no. That's in 2023. Yeah, okay. But read the first top part part article. Her first week sales were only yeah. 20,000. Yeah. So, okay, we're going Whereas, off. like where Nas was only 17K. Okay, okay, I, but no, we're talking no. about Cole. I personally no, but hear me out. I'm I'm not defending you know I don't listen to her music. No. Alright? I if you like it, you like it. Right. As long as you don't fucking praise the devil, I don't give a fuck what the hell you listen to. Fair enough? Fair. Fair enough. Alright. Fair. Okay. Oh, that's all I'm saying is she compared of course she'll have a statistic like looks better because back then compared to now, social media. That's the only reason why. Okay. It's so, like padding right. your stats. But look, you can't complain. Okay. But we look. Can't, I, okay. You can't deny that. Okay. Her her first EP only sold 20,000. 20K, yes. 20K, right? Yeah. First week sales. Yes. yes. We're in a world where social media is big, so yes. she should have blew up more. Yes. More sales, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. J. Cole's first fucking week sales was 218. That's when social media just started booming. Yeah. So statistically, J. Cole had a better start. Like the first two couple of weeks, yeah. But overall, their first album, hers, statistically smokes his first album. Not really. I have to look this up. We'll talk Bro, more about it later. literally, her first week was only twenty k sales. But let me ask you this: Do I listen to music the way y'all do? No, but exactly. still, I have to prove. I listen to. Yo, and he yo, was yo. like, he was like, "Enwer, stop talking to me." He was like, "Nah, stop talking." <laughs> He's like, "Nut ass coleslaw fans, right?" And then that's wow, where I was that's, like, "That was actually pretty impressive." So I was that's, like, "That's a pretty funny joke." But look, that's where I said, "Yeah, has now." So that's why I was like, "Read." He was like, "Oh shit, yeah, I see it now." And when I said, "Yeah." First article, 20, yeah. 20K. Yeah. Right? He's like, yeah, you got me. Definitely don't, didn't read it. And then this. And then I pull up Big, Big Sean's. Sean. Big Sean's only had 87,000 first week. Yeah. J. Cole had 218. Cole Love. is still better than Sean. People. He's like, like, leave me the fuck alone. Take your dub and walk away. <laughs> like I said, I don't start it, bro. I'm going to say this. He, 
he really is a big fan of Big Sean, no pun intended. But like, it's like how you're a big fan of Selena or or Selena big Cole Kendrick, big pun, Pop, pun, but big. it's like there's always gonna be someone better next. Like, bro, nah. I'm still a fan of like say Trey songs. I know sooner or later someone's gonna top his shit. Bro, they've been top his shit. I love Trey songs because you know why? why? His music was about heartache. You know, cheating, love, cheating. All the dirty <laughs> Some, shit you did. <laughs> I lived that lifestyle. Facts. You want to look a fuckboy picture of me will pop up. I believe it. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, I was right. Any whore. Any whore. Talking about, talking about talking records. About whores, so Let's talk about records. <laughs> Let's talk about records, right? Kobe's first ring is being sold for nearly a million dollars, right? It was sold already. Yeah, for 972K. Hear me out. Before you say anything, that ring was gifted from Kobe to his father. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. Regardless of if he was alive or not, we're going to talk about this and then we'll go on break. Mm-hmm. What do you feel or how do you feel about this so, situation? So, I know two more things off backstory off that. So, it's not his actual um, yeah, yeah, it's not, championship. Yeah, it's yeah. his replica. Yes. So, But uh, it's an authentic replica. Authentic replica, yeah. Um, he gifted to his father... Him and his parents never had a great bond anyway. So his father did sell it back years ago. So this is a different seller. This is not his dad selling it. So this it. is not his. This is Yeah, this is not his father's because his okay. father sold it so back. So this was from the buyer, from the father. Because Kobe, father, now buyer. Yeah. The original, first buyer. First, first buyer. Year. So technically the first owner is his father. His father sold it years ago to whoever. I remember that part. And now That's what I was like, wait, what? Yeah, so okay. this is... Whoever bought it from Kobe's dad, this is from this seller to another seller. Mm. So, I mean, that's kind of fucked up because, like, bro, that's something. Let me ask you this. Let's say if you had that, wouldn't you want to sell it? Fuck no. I love Kobe, memorabilia. I'm going to keep it, bro. Because that's it. Because overall. Overall. I mean, to me. If you had that in your possession, you already had money. So, what the fuck? Yeah. But let's say. I mean, you're dropping that type of money. You have money already. So exactly. I mean. I don't know. For me, like if I had bread and I had something from Kobe, I don't think I wouldn't sell it. That would be sitting like somewhere displayed with like if I could have like a, a I'll game put that in my worn, safe. Game worn jersey signed by him or something. Like shit like that. Well, you know what's crazy? And you and I we said this multiple times, right? And Breon, this is Breon. He's always asked Shot the Ryan. You. Well, <laughs> fuck, he's a late train of thought. <laughs> so this is the reason why I never bought jerseys is because I don't want another man's name on my back. Bitch, you worry, Jalen Hurts. And y'all no. lost. Yes. <laughs> like originally, that's how always right. my mindset was. And like this is like the same similar like why why I'm bring why I'm bringing this topic up is because why would you want to have a game worn jersey dog or don't you want a clean one? So what if it's game worn? Says the motherfucker almost bought a used hat because you like the colorway. Yeah, but it was clean. At least the, the seller said it was clean. I was going to clean it. Same motherfucker that buy used shoes. Don't I you want up. a new pair? It's cheaper. Don't you want a new pair? Yeah, but a used I'm pair. Not, no, no, no. You can't. You can't you <laughs> yes, like, I can. Yo, yes, the fuck I can. You know why? Yes, the fuck I can. Because a used pair would be cheaper. Yes, the fuck I can. Okay, watch that okay, game worn jersey. So if you want, okay, watch okay, the game out. worn jersey and see if it time fucking out. still has the same value. Time out. Would you would like to wear a, a game worn pair of LeBrons? No. Why not? I would. I like to have it, but not fucking uh uh keep uh, wear them. Not wear them, but like to have it. Yeah. So that's the same thing as having a game worn jersey. In a sense, yeah. It's, but you you have to remember: Am I a jersey person? No. Exactly. I don't know. That's why. That's my defense. It's because like it's a jersey. You because because hear me out. Hear me out. Right. It's still the same shit. Unless that's unless it's signed, I get it. Game worn jersey signed, I get it. Okay, I get that part. But majority of the time, they're signed anyways, right? No, no, they no. just take off. They toss. just take it off and toss. Okay. It. Same thing with sneakers; they take them off and so some some sign it. Like, but... don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind. Let's say having a game worn pair of sneakers and having it signed by the certain player, right? Because it's so it's like a a because I'm a fan of basketball. You're right. a fan of basketball. Let's say even if it, let's say. Uh, a fucking PJ Tucker to a, yeah. I would, I would, I wouldn't care because I'm, I'm a fan. Embiid, Maxi, Luca, Luca, Jay, Jay Butler, 
Yo, what do you care about? I like Jimmy Butler. Nah, I would definitely get a Luca. You know what made me start like him more? Ooh. Before he was really a dog. Because he likes country and I love it. Because <laughs> he's it's him. He's being himself, bro. Fair. You know what I mean? I love Fair. that characteristic side of him. But I would definitely love a Luca. I really want to. I really going to buy me an AI jersey and I hope I can run into AI in the city. You can run the cook, bro. You know what you can do? Just what? go to the casino. I know he's probably somewhere just fucking gambling. I'm like, excuse me, Mr. AI. I just need a signature, bro. I'll leave you alone. I'll, I'll go up to him like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Kobe, can you sign this? Wow. <laughs> he's racist. He said they all look alike. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Says the one they actually all look alike. <laughs> hey, my people look alike. You need an eye chart for my peoples. That's facts. That being said, right? We're going to go home break. break. <laughs> And we are back. Bitches. All right, y'all. So, that being said, Game War Sneakers. Would you... Okay, before we go to the next topic, final question. Game War Sneakers or Game Worn Jersey? Which one would you prefer? Jersey. Jersey? Really? Yeah. Why? Sneakers going to K after a while. Jersey, the most it'll do, probably a little fade. Mm, fair enough. Also, how you preserve it. Okay, fair enough. Honestly. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Both, but I think at the end of the day, the sneakers were the K faster than the Jersey. Fair enough. So, okay, jersey. so you longevity purposes. Longevity you choose... purposes, jersey. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Can't deny that because you are absolutely right. I know. Dirty Calm down, bitch. Ho. So. This bitch is mad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, let's go back to something you skipped because this shit was funny. What? Windshield wipers. Where, where did I put them? <laughs> Bitch. Oh, yeah. I want to go to that. Oh, yeah. So. Dumb fuck. So. <laughs> you know how this week was raining, right? Fucking, I bought new windshield wipers. Uh-huh. Mind you, I always get the, the cheap one because they all last the same anyways. Yeah, they all do, yeah. So I couldn't, there was no more sizes that I need for the cheap ones. Uh-huh. So I went, there's like, there's cheap, middle, expensive as fuck. Yeah. I get the middle ones, like 17, 20 a pop, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I put them on. Why didn't get it from Costco? It was like fucking 10 at night, bro. I, I couldn't, I, had, I was getting right, off of work. Fair, fair. And Walmart was the only place oh. that was open. Excuse me, fair. And... I put them on at night. Boom, boom. Put uh, put the flat back down. So next day it's raining again. I'm letting it go. I'm like, yo, why is that shit not clearing out my shit? Why is my shit still blurry? It makes no sense, right? Mind you, I think I'll pick up my pots because I gotta try to take them to the dentist. Right. I, I I pick them up. He I take the shortcut, so it's an alleyway. Yeah. One way. And he's like, yo, what, what the hell is wrong with your wipers? I'm like, I don't know. I just bought these. And he he, he leaned. You see how small my yeah, dad is. Yeah, yeah. So he's leaning forward, hanging on top of my dashboard, like looking. And he's like, you fucking idiot. Turn off your shit. Pop that shit. Your cover's still on. I'm like, cover? There's a cover? Bro, how do you not know that? Because I never bought. But you don't feel it when you're putting them on? Bro, it was midnight, dark, fucking but Busting you can still my, feel it. I didn't see it. I just worried about fucking. Uh, you know shit, what I mean? That shit is funny, bro. So I was like, oh. I saw the note. I was like, this motherfucker did not know the windshield wipers. I've don't never like had us. wipers with fucking the covers on there before like that. That's funny, bro. So for me, that was new. That's funny. I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm stupid, but all right. <laughs> you live and learn. Hey, you learned a little late, but you learned it. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> recent pickups, I had the uh, Air Max 1 uh, Magester Vault. I'm going to show you what happened. I cleaned them. You see how uh, there there are no stains? But look what happened. So hear me out. They separated because I tossed them in the washer. No, this is what fuck. This is the stupid part. I don't know. It's not It's not nobody's fault, but I guess myself for not paying attention. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna reglue it so it's fine. Right. But you see how the, the stains that you saw are gone now. Bro, that's a lot of fucking separation, bro. This is uh, a shoot from 2013. I bought it for 20 bucks. Okay. <sighs> nice little restoration project. But so I put it on cold. Sheesh. So I don't know why it was on hot. Sheesh. God damn, bro. This is gonna be a nice nice like learning yeah. curve for me. Damn. <laughs> 
But it's a nice shoe. I you, mean, yeah, you saw how dirty it was. It was dirty. I, I like, cleaned it. I did my thing cleaning it. I mean, you could get away with just re-gluing it with super glue. Nah, I, I want to do it myself. So what I'm going to do You're gonna it, have to get a nice heat No. Here. So I'm going to do hot water. It's going to separate. Oh, you want to re-glue the whole thing? I'm going to re-glue the whole thing. So like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be a nice learning curve for me, bro. Yeah. Always definitely right. start from the toe cap. And then... This, this one is not that bad. This is the only problem. Then they got a little bit here, but that's fine. You could, yeah, I would say you could definitely put some glue. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I said, it'll be a nice little learning project for but me. But this part, this was easy to clean because the one that I got, bro, I'm no, telling you. No, it was you, not. I had to, I use a pod for that, bro. Rejuvenator. The Rejuvenator. The... Uh, 10% discount. Fresh Philly 215. <laughs> there you go. The only thing I hate is when you scrub too hard with the brush. Oh, yeah. No, I was lightly, gently. But you yeah. saw how, like, the yeah, stains they, were yeah. gone. They're gone. Bro, like I said, on mines, is that fucking spot. It's not there because my eyes know it was there. Uh, I still feel like it's... It's not there. It's there, bro. If it's not there, it's not there. It's fucking there. And then um, the Magister Vault. That's the one I just showed. Uh, Nesto. And then the eighty, the 86 Royal Blue. You got them? Yeah. Let me see them, Jones. I definitely wanted them, but then after I was like, they're a pain in the ass to fucking clean. I don't want them no more. <sighs> Sheesh. They will go nice with that Brooklyn uh, Brooklyn hat. They would definitely go nice with that Brooklyn hat. I don't want to wear this yet. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this yet. They gonna bro. go nice with that Brooklyn hat. <sighs> Damn, I should I should have went for him, but I'm like nah. I mean, you, you about to go on vacation, bro. You might as well save for extra money for your for your shit. Yeah. Oh, they have eleven on this joint. Yeah, it was all the size is eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so the size is on the side. Yeah, it's pretty cool touch to it. I like it. Uh, that shit is going to peel right the fuck off after a few wears. A few wears? You mean one wear? Well, depending on how your socks are. But you see how these are so- Yeah. See? Okay. See? So the fucking stain was like right here. Okay. It got in between the fucking crevices of the fucking mesh or whatever the fuck that is. But it's gone. No. I can still see it. Can we get rid of it for you? No. I got ri- I'm, a, I'm a, When I get home, I'm going to send you a picture. I got rid of it. But... I know, like, that stain mark is right there. Bro. It's not there no more if it's gone. I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to show you. Jesus Christ. Hold on, fellas. I hate this shit. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm not wearing them bitches no more. I don't even want to wear my clear J's because of that fucking reason. Oh, you'll be fine, dude. Yeah, I'll touch you, bitch. Bro, just wear your shoes. It is coming from a guy that doesn't even wear his shit. I wear my shit maybe once a, uh, once a month. Facts, you don't wear your shit. Well, you wear your shit. I can't. I only have. I work six to seven days a week. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you learn it too much from me, pussy. <laughs> that uh, sounds like a you problem, not a my problem. It's a me problem. It's not a, it sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Facts. Oh, shit. But uh, yeah, those are my two recent pickups. To, you know, and also my, my little. The, the crip. No, it's not. The big Crip uh, Paisley, what is it, jacket? Yeah, it's shirt? a jacket. Eh. Oh, yeah, it's a puff, like, almost like a puff. Right? Yeah, it's a little light jacket. H&M? No, Paxson. eBay, 30 bucks. Brand uh, new. Can't complain. Paxson does be having bro, some I'm be, shit. Bro, I'm, I'm be telling you, bro, I be Now, I go to Paxson the, the, for, like, shirts, because they have nice graphic shirts. Nothing in my size, though. I think they have to go online for those, then. Uh, well, now some are have I seen them in the store. I just didn't like. Mm. But so like the ones you want, just the ones, always, yeah, yeah, just always out of. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. So recently, I you seen that one of my videos this week, right? I posted about uh videos about uh, Jordan One mids, and bro, everyone was like coming at me like I said, You're right? Like fuck mids. I never said that in the no, video. No, it is fuck mids. You don't. You want to wear mids? No. All right. Before we talk about this, let me ask you this thing: Jordan One mids, six rings. Def. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> just choose one. Which one you... If you had to wear one, just choose one. Skechers. Come on, please. Crocs. <laughs> you just choose one or the other. Next question. <laughs> Come on. I, bro, I... Uh, fuck. Lowe's. <laughs> you have Lowe's. You like Lowe's, bitch. 
Uh, All right, how about this? A thousand dollars a day for wearing a pair. Which one would you rather choose? A day for every day that I wear. Every wear every year. I mean, every day you gain a thousand dollars from wearing either either or. It doesn't matter. Shit. Damn. <laughs> give me the give me the mids. Cause there you go. Give me the mids. So you would choose the mids over dub zeros though, or, or six rings. I'm sorry. Yeah. Six okay. rings is just too fucking much. Mids are okay. I I just don't like the stupid Jumpman logo on the tongue. That's a lot of people's issues. Yeah, and also, I don't know. I feel like the padding around the ankle is a little bit wider and fatter. There's no padding well, around there. No, nah, some have it, but they look just wider than the highs. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so I'm just like, there's no point of wearing mids. Oh, fair enough. And like, I don't know. I, yeah, I never had pyramids in my life. I never either, but I respect them. Because, yeah. like, no, can you hear me out, right? We grew up young. Oh, of course, we, we yeah. fucking old now. But at the same time, like, you, I know for a fact you and me were in that situation where, okay, the shoe that we really wanted at, in the store for retail was like, let's say 160, 180. Yeah, one we couldn't get that. Facts. 140, 150. So what we do? We go for the cheaper alternative. That's the cheaper alternative for our for the younger cats, younger generation. I know. Fuck. I think after we got off of Payless, um, definitely did a lot of like Chucks. Chucks were always cheaper. Yeah, definitely did a lot of Chucks. I did a lot vans. of. No, I never did. Never uh, did my fa- my I bought my first pair of Vans. Remember the Paisley black Paisleys, the oh. Lowe's? Those were my first pair of Vans. Oh yeah, They're fucking trash. I read a rock chucks. Um, How you dick them up that bad? Took them work. Ah, uh, uh, you don't like them? Nah, you don't like. Them? I don't like the feeling. The uh, yeah, I read. I think Vans are chucks. cool. So, yeah. uh, I mean, everybody has their preferences, but me, I do chucks. Uh, but not nah, if we couldn't get if I couldn't get the Jordans growing up, it was either chucks. Mm. Uh, running sneakers like Nike, any yeah. runner, whatever. It's cheaper. It's cheaper or. Fuck or Reebok when the G units were out. Mm. Those what I would do, and I think I remember one. You remember when Burlington was selling sneakers in the gallery? Yeah, yeah. They had some like they had the silhouette of forces, but it had a Tupac picture on the side. So I wore those kind of like oh cool Tupac, and I wore those sneakers. They were pretty dope. Let me see if I can find them. This guy, but yeah. So, so I'm gonna tell you what happened, right? Fucking. I made a video on Jordan 1 mids and people were coming at me like I say mids are ugly. I just asked everyone, hey, I don't. Well, first, before I asked them, I was like, hey, I personally don't have a pair of mids. I don't wear mids, but it's for the different demographics of individuals who can't afford Jordan 1 highs. It's just a cheaper alternative at the end of the day. Hey, if you like mids, you like mids. Right. Me personally, I don't like mids because I don't see anything I like when it comes to mids. Except for one shoe. It was like uh, the Jordan uh, Jordan 1 Mid Royal uh, Splatters. Mm-hmm. It was like the little paint drippings on it and shit. That shit was pretty cool. But other than that, nothing else. Like I don't have anything else in mind. But yet somehow I turned to be the bad guy and motherfuckers start coming at my neck and talking about, oh, Jordan wear mids. Well, so why shouldn't you? I'm like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about Jordan. But he's like, well, you're talking about his shoes. So clearly you care about something. And this is what I had to tell the, the guy. I was like, look, I don't give a fuck about Jordan. Jordan As a pl- basketball player, I don't give a fuck. I just care about his shoes. Your goat is not my goat. My grail is not your grail. Facts. And guess what? He just shuts the fuck up and just doesn't yeah. say anything. That's the thing, bro. I don't know why people feel like, oh, he wore them. Why can't you and shit? Bro, like, it's like, okay, so if Michael Jordan fucking, like, shaved off his dick, you gonna shave yours off, too, because yeah, he's your probably. goat? All right, so I did find the Tupac sneakers, bro. They were actually a Machiavelli brand. Like I said, I had the silhouette of a... Uh, of an Air Force it had a Tupac picture on the side. Uh, but mines were green. And they were like 20 bucks. Hmm. I don't remember these. They were Burlington Coat Factory. I re- like I said, I remember because uh all Hispanic parents love Burlington. So they still we, we all shop there, bro. Is your people some of my people? Oh, uh, I don't go there no more, but I still do. Uh yeah, that shit. It has some some dope memories with those. Okay, so 
Name since we're talking about meds, that's something I know you won't buy or you won't Fuck wear. No. Name another shoe you won't. Don't say like a shoe that you haven't pr- announced on this pod yet. Uh, that I won't wear. Yeah, foam runners for me. Wave runners for me. Uh, no, I kind of want those. Uh, fuck. Well, I wouldn't wear anything like fucking Gucci, Balenciaga. So designer shoes. Yeah, because they fucking look stupid. I like. No, the, I like. There's only stupid. one designer, two designer uh, shoes I like. What's that? Margellas. Uh huh. Of course. Because, like, you know, the straps yeah, are a little, yeah, little of course, kinky. Of course. And uh, Balenciaga Arena High Tops. Nah. Those are clean. Yeah, any, like, super high fashion name brand I won't do. Uh, what's another fucking They're brand? uncomfortable, but. I believe it. Uh, what's another one? I wore Reeboks. I wore K-Swiss. Did you? Yeah, growing up, I wore I some never K-Swiss. Wore K- I th- they were actually pretty fucking. Growing. I don't know. K-Swiss? I don't remember. Are they still in business? I don't know. Let's check it. Uh, I remember growing up, K Swiss was like the shit. I wore I Adidas wore back in the day too. I wore a lot of Adidas, especially shell toes. I love shell toes. Uh, well, shell tops. Technically. Shell tops. Yeah, I mean they're still. Yeah, K Swiss is still up and running. Uh, definitely wore some New Balances. Fuck. You yeah. know what shoe you should uh, get rid of? What? Monarchs. <laughs> I like Monarchs. They're comfortable. So ugly, man. They're comfortable. Those and Crocs. Get rid of them. They're both comfortable. You're going to be the, the uncle at the I actually do want a pair of all the sketchers. fucking ribs. I want a pair of sketches. I, I would never wear. I, I want I'll wait till sketchers. I'm like 70. Nah, I'll wear a pair of sketches. I'll wait till I'm Where's 70. the other one? Aces? That fucking brand? Aces. Is it Aces? ASIC? Ace, no, A-C-I-S. A-C-I-S. I don't, I don't know. They're like a running sneaker. The ones that had like the lines going like this and... ASIC. I there's, just said there's it. There's no K in it. ASIC. Let me see. A S I C S A sick. Is that pronounced it? Now you making me fucking question. I don't that. know. That is... ASIC gel lights. I guess, yeah. Yeah. yeah no, ASICs. I, was... I had them before. ASIC. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Tomato tomato. But yeah, nah. Won't wear those. I had those before. Uh well, whoa, whoa, what? Yeah, I won't wear they those. They comfy. Now those are comfy. Think about this. Regular plain tea, some chinos. <laughs> Put those on. You're good, bro. <laughs> You know what pair I always wanted, but my feet do not like them? Cortez. Actually, I remember my first pair of Cortez. I, they don't my, like my, my oh, feet. Oh, I had so much compliments in high school wearing them shits because you know why? They're all black. So no one really, like the teachers don't pay yeah. attention. Because, you know, and then like, they're like, yo, you got Cortez? And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like gas yeah. like me and Nah, shit. fucking, yeah, Cortez do not like my feet, bro. You a hater. How am I a hater? They don't like my feet. Do better. Do better, bitch. Wear your hats, bitch. I will. Sunday. I just don't know which one. <laughs> I guarantee you won't wear it anyway. Fuck you. I feel like I probably won't either. <laughs> you won't. I'm going to come here and take your Brooklyn shit. I'm going to go to Joe. You're like, yo, give me this hat. Give me $10. You're like, got you. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, um, so before we get into like sneaker releases, right? I won't throw this out there. So I was called. A, uh, a dumbass, basically, right? Yeah, you are. For overpaying for basic ass sneaker. What basic sneaker? I don't know. So hear me out. There was this, I'm going to tell you the backstory. So this kid was talking shit about some dude lifting, right? Uh huh. So if you're using a rack, uh huh. Okay. And I say I'm next to you and I say I don't have a 45 or a quarter. Uh huh. Would I, should I take it off your rack? Or off the the barbell. Your rack. Your rack, right? Yeah. Because it's just common it's sense. It's common sense, yeah. So the dude that was about to squat, the heavy, his PR, uh-huh. some chick took the 25 off his bar. Oh, no. It was just chilling there. Yeah. But she just went over and grabbed it. Uh-uh. You know, and he shows like, yo, what kind of shit is like? This is some gym, like gym, not a Karen, but it's like uh, gym, it's uh, not, the, gym no, etiquette. It's edi- not, there you go, yeah, etiquette. It's not, it's there's not, no, like, yeah. there's, like that's, like, you well, know what I mean? Bro, I know a lot of people don't have common sense in the fucking So, thing, bro. with that being said, you know, he posted a lot of people were like, weren't even coming at her, uh-huh. was coming at him saying, yo, you took 10 minutes for a PR. I'm like, bro. so I defended him. I was like, I looked at the dude's page because uh-huh. he's a, he lifts too. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, talk when you can actually fucking hit his number. Fact. Your deadlift is my working set for fun. Facts. You're 405. I do 405 for reps. Fun. Facts. That's why a few days ago, I fucking said, I 
to Jason, my boy Jason, uh-huh. shout out to my homie Jason. He, because he saw that comment. Uh-huh. So he's the only one that knows besides you and everyone else that listens. Right. So I, he thought it was funny. Because that's the reason why I did 405 for fun is uh-huh. because that's his yeah, PR. Yeah, some motherfuckers <laughs> are like that, yeah. So, and then when I said that, he was like, oh, so typical. What do you mean so typical? Let's be realistic here, okay? We both go to the gym as an investment for our bodies. Right. These sneakers are investment for my for myself because why? I can sell one pair, pay my bills for a month. Exactly. Can you? Can fuck you? Because they buy. I'm not. Reps. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know if you buy reps or not. I don't uh, give a fuck about they that. Probably do. But at the end of the day, like you don't see the bigger picture. You shouldn't comment on someone's shit, like someone like something with that type of tone or that type of demeanor or that uh-huh. type of comment when you came and do it yourself. Let's say this: If you made me something and uh, you poured your heart and soul out of it for making me a dish, facts. and I can't even cook, but I judge you on your cooking. I'm like your mama. <laughs> That's why when it comes to facts. booties, bro, no, I don't listen to these uh, dumbasses. I think the problem is with that, bro, is people always have an opinion, but when you reply back to them, they can't fucking take it. Cause I, um, um, uh, cause I literally had that happen to me literally a few days ago. There was, um. A Philadelphia like uh, page that I follow that posts all yeah. like dumb shit or whatever going yeah. in the city, and they're going to cancel a Made in America tour, and I was like, "Good, we don't need goofy motherfuckers outside." Uh. And the bitch decided to fucking compliment. Uh, she was like, "LOL," then stay you big old goofy ass at home, and I was like, "LOL, you're the goofy motherfuckers I'm talking about. Stay in K and A." Cause she looked like she was from K and A, and then she was like, "How dare you tell me that? Like this and that." I'm like, "You comment on my shit." Like, of course I'm gonna fucking reply, you dumbass. That's the thing. It's like if you're well, if you can dish it out, you better be able to take better, it back. Better take it back. Yeah. Like if I call you a dumbass and you call me a dickhead and I cry, pretend yeah, like, oh, I'm the like victim. you're the victim. Like, bro, bro shut take the fuck it. Up. Like that's the internet, bro. Not even just that. In today's society, I feel like everything Kobe would be like this soft. Well, this is the thing. Everybody hangs behind the fucking screen. They got the biggest balls behind the screen. When it comes to reality. Yeah. And it, then, like I said, if you reply and start hitting them with pointers and shit, they get fucking butt hurt. And then I don't know what it is, bro. Because I remember I had my page like public for a while. And like some people were, uh, I remember some motherfucker that sent me a DM was like, oh, you a fat fuck. I was like, yeah, but your mama's swallowing my dick. And they were like, oh, fuck you. Why would you say that? I'm like, you the one that started. You sent me a demon out of nowhere calling me a fat fuck. But I was like, yeah, your mama's sucking my dick. And now you're butthurt. Bro, it, it's, in today's society, it's so... It's, bro, it's, we it's live just, in a fucking world that everybody's fucking soft, bro. I don't know how to explain to that. I don't know, bro. People are fucking soft as shit. Y'all can't yeah, take I, a fucking joke. I tell people Everybody like, want to be grow, woke. Grow, uh, grow thick skin. Because, like, I, I remember... It was like a few days ago, right? And I was, like, saying... We're arguing about something. I forgot what the topic was, uh-huh. right? She jumped in. There's a, f- a female. Uh-huh. And I was like, you're lucky the community guideline on IG is saving you right now. I, and, I go in, bro. No, I can't. I can't. I, I work really oh, hard I for my, for my followers, in, bro. bro. I don't care if they... Bro, you saw, you saw how, how many followers I started. Bro, this is the I whole... I grinded to hit 1.2K. This is the whole reason why I don't even be on TikTok no more, bro. Because like I said, I comment some shit. Mm -hmm. People like to reply and I get them back and they get butthurt. TikTok, I don't care because you know what? Because they might be fucking uh, banned in in America. Uh, So I'm going reckless on TikTok. Oh yeah, I'm going ham on TikTok. But like... But IG, I have to keep it at least PG-13. For me. uh, For for you, yeah. For for me, me, I don't give a fuck, bro. I I go all in. I get get a few that are like, yeah, your comments under review. But you see me, when I curse, I actually put the the symbols and shit. I know, I'll be like, fuck you. Nah. (laughs) I'll put the symbols, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'll put the symbols. Social media is fucking But that's the thing. I'm like, I guess, like, but it's like, when it comes to the gym community, back to that topic, I feel like the ones that always complain the most or like bitch about or like try to critique people mm. are always the weakest people. Always the weakest people and the physically, motherfuckers that physically, never physically stepped in the fucking gym in the world. I'm like, bro. My favorite ones is the motherfuckers that lift at fucking planet. Those are my favorite. What do you mean? Like they They're swear com- they know the whole fucking gym world, but they never press been any, outside. I've been outside gym. a real yeah. into no, we a real have home, gym. But hear me out. We have homies. Because I remember, let me say this. Al used to train me. To help me out, to because like after football in high yeah, school, but I didn't know what else to do. But yeah, they, I mean they but trained tra- there to tra- like do like little little shit. But no, but, but these he, motherfuckers he actually went to love. he went to uh, I met because uh, he went to L.A. originally. Uh-huh. So they all he started out 
before he went to yeah, Palmer. which is a great gym yeah. in L.A. But I'm saying like um, the ones that strictly only been to that I, gym and that gym. Yeah, yes. when I went to because I started off at real gyms the whole time. And I remember it was a point in time I was like, it was getting expensive. So I was like, let me go to Planet. The uh, Planet down here, actually, uh, bro. And I was like, where's the bench presses? Where's the squat racks? Where's the fucking dumbbells that go up to like yeah. 100? Uh, bro, I toughed it out for one month. I'm like, I can't do this, bro. I, bro, I feel like, getting weaker. I'm going to say this. I was, if you want to, when it comes to, because it's all nothing but machines, no free well, weights, right? It all depends on, I guess, your goals. Me personally, at look, that time. If you want to look like an Abercrombie Fitch model, that's go to Planet Effects. If you want to lift numbers, go to a real fucking gym. It's I, still a real gym. Oh, fuck is not. That's like I mean, a fast food. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Oh, it's a fast food who, gym. Who gives you fucking pizza on Fridays? They still do that? I don't know. When I when they were doing it. <laughs> and I know you were that happy. Was, fuck no, bro. I was like, I can't lift nothing in here, bro. Because it was me, my brother. This is when I was working at a pizza shop. It was me and my brother. Your brother went with you? I yeah, because he him. wanted to learn I how never, to live. I never, I can't imagine. Oh, he it. stopped going with me after a while because um, he's like, yeah, I go to Planet, I go to Planet. And this is the same time I was about to start at City. So I was like, come on, I want to see if you could really lift. I took him, I think I put like a hundred something on the board. He was like, I can't. I was like, yeah, see, that Planet Fitness shit is different from a real fucking gym. Because they could bench you, there because you they have a mobility. free. It's yeah. all about mobility. But you remember, remember at City they uh, had that 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 the rotating Smith machine. Remember that one, the one that you worked at. Remember they had the Smith machine, but it could rotate, it could move forward, back. Oh yeah, angles. Yeah, but that still is not a real. No, but it's better compared to that one. Yeah, but you're still not getting no fucking. No, workout no. Here. The only thing you can't do is 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 work on balance. I used to do that. I used to work on that because you know why? Wow. It's the twenty four seven one, mm-hmm. right? They didn't have that. I had no Bro, choice but to use it. I that. used that machine to move around for fun. Like when it was displaced, I would just turn Yeah, like it. you could just like rotate yeah. it, like, pretend like you're in the but, boat. But um what was it? Yeah, nah. To me, I guess at that point in time I was like, fuck no, nah, I'm trying to become strong. I ain't lifting the fucking planet. <laughs> like I could carry this whole machine and still won't get a fucking work. Fair enough. We're gonna take one more break and we'll talk about releases. Bitches. We are back. Bitches. So, yeah, that's a little fun fact about gyms. <laughs> but yeah, like, the fitness community is... I, hate, I also hate... the yeah, fitness community is fucking weird. Bro, I... I, like, I, I used s- to hate the Roy motherfuckers. No, that's what I was about to bring up. On TikTok, there's mm-hmm. a lot of like content on Roy motherfuckers. Uh-huh. I'm like, bro, why are you guys so angry for it? Because the testosterone, bro. Bro, it's so stupid. Bro, I... Because when I worked that shit, we had a lot of Roy heads, and I'm like, bro, Well, remember, I only came at night where there was nobody there, so I yeah, didn't Yeah, I, I mean, I worked all the, our shit. The only people I had to deal with was you and, and, and Dre, and that yeah. was it. And, he, he was my <laughs> little Roy head, too. But um, what was it? Nah, I dealt with a lot, bro, because I used to work literally 24-7 there, so I dealt That's with true. everybody. But uh, I used to hate the motherfuckers that um, <laughs> will literally hog up a machine, bro. Oh, I hate those. I hate those motherfuckers. Jumping back, like you know, what I hate the most right now. What? So this is a little uh, rice picker, Shit. slanted eyes, four eyes, bitch. Shit. That is it. When I mean bitch, he's a pussy. Mm-hmm. Fucking doesn't re rack his fucking weights. I hate that, bro. Bro, and today he asked me to spot. I literally just walked away. Nah. So my, of course, my friend, like my my friend, he's he's not that t- he's not confrontational. Okay. Okay. If you start re racking your weights. I'll start spotting you again. But the fact that you literally, bro, hear me bro. out. This is this, this pretend this mic right here is the yeah. bench. This is the rack. All you have to do is put it over. Guess where he puts it? Yeah, I hate motherfuckers like that. Cause when I used to right work in next the, to the rack. I used to work when I used to work at City, you know how they were kind of strict about it. Mm-hmm. I used to go around like, yo, you gonna re-rack that shit or not? And well, who you talking to? I'm like, you re-rack your shit, or I'm canceling your gym I'm, membership. I'm, I, I told uh I told uh, the manager there, right? Uh-huh. I'm not being a care. I, I didn't tell him who. No, because that's etiquette, but no, bro. But no, I was like, yo. I didn't tell him who, though. I didn't snitch on who it was. Uh-huh. I was like, look. Because we were just having conversations. I was like, yo, let me bring it up. I brought it up to him. I was like, yo. As a as a, a, a fine, as a clause on our memberships, if you don't re-rack your shit, you get a fine. Mm-hmm. Nah, because... Uh, five... I, we're not talking about no 5, 10, 20. We're talking about 30, 40, 50s. Because sooner or later, that's going to add up. If you think oh, you got money... 
Huh, we'll see. Now, um, I used to love it because I used to get away with. I used to talk to motherfuckers while that city, and I used to. I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm like, cool. She up front. Talk her. I'm like, my name is Ernesto. Let her know what uh, what you said, and I'll let you know what I said. And like, never got in trouble, bro. Because and they, it's you're supposed to. Yeah, because I used to you're go suppo- around. It's like, like for the, you see an old lady about to uh, go through the door. What do you do? Open the door. Exactly. If you see your mama or old lady or old an old man individual struggling carrying bags, what do you do? Depending on the people. I do help out sometimes. Bitch, you're a good person. Fuck out of here. Uh, you think you're an asshole. You just talk I, like I an am, asshole. Bro. You talk like an asshole. But in reality, no, I you're a really person. am sometimes, bro. Fuck out of here. Nah, yeah. That's Dep- why you're my friend. Depending on how the attitude of a person is, I feed off of that. No, but then I'm saying, for example, if you see someone struggling holding some grocery bags, you act like you're not going to help. I know you would. Well, the old, I mean, all the, the only did that He's once. He's trying to sound tough, y'all. No, I only did that help. once because I had went to Cousins up in North Philly. Um, Puerto Rican couple, old man was holding the, the rice bag. I think I told you the story. He was holding a rice bag and mm. he ended up falling. Uh. And like everybody just looked and I just rushed over to help him. But like that's because the people don't have nobody. But most of these people, they bring their kids. Yeah. Some, so I just like let them be. I got you. So like. I don't know. My mama always made me lift heavy since I was fucking JoJo's age. So yeah, JoJo can barely carry a fucking bag of fucking blankets. And then this is, was the time when there was like no Ubers or nothing. So we mm. used to go to Knife in Washington. I used to have a fucking duffel bag and we used to go and shop. I would carry the duffel bag, me and my mom, I would because it was heavy. I had to grow some balls, carry the duffel bag, wait for the 23rd, to uh. take us back home. <laughs> True, the 23rd goes straight down. Yeah, 23rd goes straight down to my crib. So I had to always carry heavy. So if I see, like, a grandma with, like, I don't know, let's say a teenager, uh, I'm like, bro, you got to carry that shit. I don't yeah. care. Like, I don't care if you look fragile. You got to throw some balls and carry it. Facts. Um, Let's talk about uh releases before we end the pod, right? Air Jordan 4, Vivid Sulfur, April 6, 210. Is that the yellow joint? Yeah. I low key won because they'll match my jersey. Fair enough. I think they're clean. They're, they're clean, but uh, I don't know. Copper drop. I will cop it just because okay. I'm a Pixar fan. Air Jordan 1 Retro Chrome, April 10th, 180 Women's. These are kinky. I like them. Too chromey for me. You want to feel spicy? Nah, I'm gonna feel like a fucking. Uh, you gonna feel like the Tin Man for a second? Tin Man, also. Um, you know what it reminds me? Would of? you? Um, we know when the grills came out with Paul, yeah, but the the gum <laughs> wrappers. <rappers. laughs> That's what I was about to say. Yeah. That's how I'm gonna feel. Bro, these are cool though. They're kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, Air Jordan Five Sale April Thirteenth, uh, two ten. Let me see. Is that the ones that I saw? Yeah, ah, that's a 50 50 for me. 50 50? Yeah. I think they're that's clean. A, that's a clean colorway. It's a clean colorway. But I don't know. I'm, I'm 50 50 on this. Uh, Air Jordan 3, uh, Georgia Peach, Women's 200. These are cute. Let me see. It's typical. Like, ah, it's cute, though. That would go nice with a Mets hat if I ever buy one. Oh, it's a lot, <laughs> yeah. If you had that Mets hat, you probably would try to get this, wouldn't you? Yeah, because I don't have nothing orange. So I would True. I would cop something orange for the match. Uh, Jordan Jumpman Jack, April thirtieth for two hundred. I'm copping just to resell. Resell, yeah. yeah I was gonna say depending on what resell. Anything Travis Scott I'm reselling. Mm. Air Jordan One Green Glow, April twentieth, one eighty. I need these. I want these. You want to feel minty? You want to feel fresh? Uh, they probably woman's release. You want to feel fresh as fuck? They, they look like a woman's release. No. Both huh? genders mm. and kids. Mm. You don't like them? Nah. Nah. Uh, Air Jordan 4, the Hyper Violets. Uh, they're for kids, though, for 160. These are cute. They're cute. They're cute, though. Yeah. They're cute. Yeah. Last but not least, Air Jordan 1, Team Red, April 27th, 180. Nah. Nah. They look like the burgundy fucking ones that came The only shoe that I really, really want, like for myself, of course, is the Green Glow ones. But then, like, I, if I could choose that or the, the jump, Jordan Jumpman Jack, yeah. Jordan Jumpman Jack, just for resale purposes. Yeah. I'd rather have my money than fucking. Yeah, I was going to say, I, mean? I would do for resale for the Jumpman Jack. Mm. Um, maybe those yellow fours, but there's woman sizing. So if it goes up to the, my size, maybe. And maybe those retro sell, the five, the sales. 
Which, if you have to choose out all of them, I'll probably one. go with fives because I like fives. Fives, yeah. You do. You are a five person. I, I'm a five person. You're a five for person. Sure. Well, that's it, y'all. That's basically all for the pod today. Uh, remember, we are on Spotify. We are on Apple. Uh, please follow my YouTube, my IG, my TikTok at Fresh Philly two one five. Please, y'all. Uh, I please follow, like, share, subscribe. Uh, that being said, I appreciate everyone that's been rocking with us. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. And we will see y'all next week. Adios. Deuces. Peace.